Recently, more and more parents in the U.S. are deciding against the procedure as the medical claims about circumcision are being questioned, even by doctors. Well, we were talking about it even before you even got pregnant. All the usual issues came up because I'm Catholic and Julie is Jewish. One of the things that we brought up was, uh, what if we have a boy? What are we going to do then? And, and then when it was, her. you know, brought to our attention that we are having a boy, yeah. then we really had to decide, so, oh, you know, okay, well, let's let's talk about this because yeah. this is going to be an issue. You know, when you look on the internet, you can find arguments on both sides, mm -hmm. and they're usually pretty substantial. And, um, you know, there was definitely um, a, a lot against circumcision, and there was a lot for circumcisions. Well, I don't think, you know, one one answer is good for everyone. I think that it's a very personal decision between the parents and the uh and the doctor. It was a standard medical procedure going back to, um, what was it, the 50s? Some of the studies justifying it, saying that it was more hygienic, uh, it cut down on incidences of penile cancer, which is dead rare anyway. I mean, these studies are years old. Um, I just think it became an automatic thing that was done when you had a boy and you gave birth in a hospital. The medical benefits of circumcision are, are so minute because the issues even in uncircumcised males so rarely occur that I think that the Academy has taken the position that it shouldn't be done for medical reasons. The bottom line is no national medical organization in the world recommends circumcision. The United States is the only country in the world that circumcises most of its male infants for non-religious reasons. 80% of the world does not circumcise. I mean, honestly, I think it's the, the whole differentness of it is very overblown. Navigating through American society, nobody has ever said anything to me about it except to occasionally remark, hmm, you're not circumcised. And that was about it. It's, it was just a, a comments that acknowledged it, not negative or positive either way. When you're about to have sex with somebody, an uncircumcised penis looks exactly like a circumcised penis. Foreskin goes back anyway. And, you might, you okay, might let's, even be with we, people who are not talk about, talk about, you know, maybe I'm going out on a limb here, but <laughs> like the, the pleasure aspect of having a foreskin versus not. Yeah, it's meant to be more There's, sensitive for men who are uncircumcised. I want my kid to enjoy sex. <laughs> Baby is forcibly restrained on a board with his arms and legs strapped down. The harm includes the extreme pain. It is traumatic. Uh, this is very well documented in the medical literature. It has uh, sexual effects. It removes a very significant part of the penis. I ask myself a lot, if my husband was circumcised, would I have made the same decision? I do ask myself that question. It might be an issue, like if we lived in a Jewish nudist colony, but we don't. <laughs> like seriously, we don't. It's Jewish nudist you know? colony. Do such things oh, exist? I have no idea. I felt not very happy I mean, after his birth and seeing him. It was right. It felt right to yeah. me not to mess with Mother Nature.